Good evening and welcome to Turn It Up. I'm Sam Cooper, your host. Uh, Turn It Up, as you know, is dedicated to bringing you live musical performances videotaped in your area. And for the past few weeks, we've brought you several rock and roll acts. However, this week we're going to change the pace as we come to the Four Winds, where we're going to see Lon Gary, who uh, is c kind of country folk flavored. And uh, he'll be joined later on by the MGB Express. In the meantime, I'd like to remind everybody that Turn It Up is uh, going to be bringing you over the next few weeks the widest variety of music that you could possibly imagine. So we hope that you'll stick with us every week. Now, let's give a warm Turn It Up welcome to Lon Gary. Good evening. This is a song that I wrote and dedicated to all my fellow pickers, and it goes like this. Well, I'd love to quit the job down at the factory and just stick to singing country songs. But neither pays enough to feed the family so I guess I'll just have to plug along. Well, tonight we go to work at Rusty's Roadhouse. And tomorrow night it's Freddy's do drop in. Where more than not I wind up getting loaded. And flirting with the floozies that come in. It ain't easy when you're unsuccessful, undiscovered and unrequested, over anxious and highly nervous, trying to go far. It's no fun to be an unrewarded, underpaid and unrecorded, overworked and hardly noticed country music star. Well, I wonder if I'm ever gonna make it. Wonder if you're ever finished paying dues Instead of being down in Nashville with the Big East I'm picking with the country kangaroos Now Biff and Lefty both think that they're swingers, yeah They're chasing after every skirt they see But the new guy on the drums, he's got me worried Cause I don't like the way he looks at me It ain't easy when you're unsuccessful Undiscovered and unrequested Over anxious and highly nervous Trying to go far It's no fun to be an unrewarded Underpaid and unrecorded Overworked and hardly noticed Country music star Now where are you gonna be, Lon? Well, I tell you, Willie oh, I can see myself singing at the opera with a thousand fans just screaming out my name just hanging out with Waylon and with Willie singing songs with Johnny Cash about them trains I can see myself picking up a Grammy being country entertainer of the year getting my picture took Hugging Dolly Parton, yeah, and grinning like a fool from ear to ear. It ain't easy when you're unsuccessful, undiscovered and unrequested, over anxious and highly nervous, trying to go far. It's no fun to be an unrewarded, underpaid and unrecorded, overworked and hardly noticed country music star. It's no fun to be an unrewarded, underpaid and unrecorded, overworked and hardly noticed country music star. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I would like to introduce to you the gentleman who is playing with 
we, we, <laughs> that doesn't sound right, playing with me. Oh, thank you. Yes, whatever. Anyway, this is a good buddy of mine, Billy Garrett. <laughs> Give Billy a big hand, if you would. Thank you. Anyway, Billy, uh, Billy and I have written a few songs together. You'll see Billy later. Well, you'll see him all during this set, but you'll see him a little later, too, when, he joined, when he's joined by his very fine band, the MGB Express. Anyway, this is a song Billy and I wrote together, and it's called The Foreign Car Rag, and it goes like this. You know, friends, lately I've had time to reflect, and boy, it makes me mad by heck the price of gas. Them Arabs got it all. But while Japan and Europe shrunk them cars, well, Detroit must have been off looking at the stars, because, man, they never saw the writing on the wall. of old we were the best far ahead of all the rest with lots of steel and iron they did roll power speed and muscle cars we were out in front by far but now it seems we're left out in the cold cause now in order to save gas well the dream of power had to pass you know i guess them foreign cars is here to stay Cause now they tell us when we drive, keep it down to 55. Hell, you can't get them up past that anyway. Toyota, Honda, Subaru, Japan will build one just for you. America no longer needs the way. Uh -huh. I'll tell you. Fiat, Volvo, and the rest, those Beatles, bugs, they are a pest. No one wants to buy a Chevrolet. Detroit City had its day, they built them big in every way. They loved to see them rolling long and wide. But the foreign car my friend just bought looks like a box that's falling short. He can't even get his kids inside. Now Toyota, Honda, Subaru, Japan will build one just for you. America no longer leads the way. What a pity. I'll tell you. Fiat, Volvo, and the rest. Those Beatles, Bugs, they are a pest. No one wants to buy a Chevrolet. Damn foreign. I'll tell you. There's one of us haunting right now. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> but my buddy really swears by his. Says it'll run for 20 years. He claims they build them better over there. Ah. Yeah, well. Breaks down, he's got to search all over town to find the parts just to get the thing repaired. Well, maybe now the tide will turn if Detroit's lessons have been learned. Forget the past, come on, build them for today. All right. And friend, I hope you won't take wrong the words I've written in this song, but I'd just rather buy a Chevrolet. Now Toyota, Honda, Subaru, Japan will build one just for you. America no longer leads the way. You gotta turn that around. I'll tell you what. Fiat, Volvo, and the rest. Those Beatles, bugs, they are a pest. No one wants to buy a Chevrolet. See the USA in a dot. Nah. I just wanna buy a Chevrolet. Right. To the fullest I look forward to what each day holds in store I have always stopped to savor nature's wonder I don't think 
there's a man who loves life more. But if God in all his wisdom were to call me, Take me home to heaven in his hand Just to know that in my lifetime you have loved me I would die a happy man You see, the moments that we share are just like heaven. So I don't think it would be like something new. At the time that I would spend up with the angels, be sweeter than the time I'd spend with you. So if God in all his wisdom were to call me and take me home to heaven in his hand just to know that in my lifetime you have loved me I would die a happy man just to know that in my lifetime you have loved me. I would die a happy man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. One of, uh, one of the songs that I get most requested is a, uh, is a tune that I wrote for my boys. We have four little guys. All oh, right. No, no, no. Please, please. My pleasure. Anyway, we have, uh, <laughs> we have four little guys at home. Now, when I wrote this song originally, we had three. So the reference is in it at three because I didn't feel like rewriting the song again. It was tough enough having the kid. Whatever. Anyway, this is a song called Sadie. Give you an idea what a typical day is like around our house. And if you have kids or you're hiding from them or don't admit to them or anything like that, I'm sure that uh, it's about the same for you. And it goes like this. Got to bed by this morning. I'm already up by ten. Got one kid crying his eyes out And another one is beating on him The house is in a shambles Got toys and food all over the floor My wife's sitting on the couch mumbling She says I can't take any more Now come on boys, don't fight It's Saturday morning, all right Hey, your mommy's getting mad, just listen to her yell. Pick up some of these toys. Shh, stop making so much noise. Daddy's too tired and mommy's not coping too well. Now 12 o'clock cartoons are over. And that's when the fun begins. All into the car for McDonald's. 
yeah, but one wants Kentucky chicken. Finally, the argument's over. I say, just get in the car, it's burning fried. But when I look in the rear mirror, well, my big one's got tears in his eyes. Now, come on, boys, don't fight. It's Saturday afternoon, right? And if you're all good, I'll take you for a ride. <laughs> and even bring it back again. Come on now, sit down in the seat. Shh, watch out with that ice cream beneath. Oh, and honey, for God's sake, please stop the baby from crying. Oh, la, 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 la. What do you want? What? Why don't you go before we left? La, 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 la. La, stop fighting back there. Leave your brother alone. Get your finger out of his ear. La, 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 la. Now, six o'clock dinner is ready. But now the little one, he don't want to eat. And the big one says, yeah, you know I hate carrots. And the middle one just spit out the meat. Now comes the threats and the yelling. Chug, chug, woo, here comes the train. <laughs> you know, honey, the baby sure smells bad. And the two-year-old is smelling the same. Now come on, boy, don't fight. It's Saturday evening, all right. And I've got to get dressed for work in a minute or two. All right, come on, boys, get into the tub. Mommy will wash your hair and give you a scrub. And if you give me any back talk, there'll be no TV for you. Well, now they're all in their pajamas, looking all shiny and clean. Now you're kind of sorry that you yelled at them, you know. Sorry for being so mean. They're looking like sweet little angels. Well, you kiss them and off into bed And you realize just how much you love them Whether they're good or they're bad Now come on, boys, good night What? Of course I'm gonna turn off the light A story about the three I just read What do you want? A glass of water? All right well, I sure hope the baby sleeps through the night. Cause Sunday morning, it starts all over again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It, is, uh, it has been my pleasure to be performing here at the Four Winds for, uh, for quite a while now. I think we're going on our seventh year. That's our anniversary. We just had it in past June. Now, you cannot work in a place like this without meeting an awful lot of people. And when you meet an awful lot of people, you hear a lot of conversations. And when you hear a lot of conversations, you get a lot of advice. Most of it... <laughs> Well, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> but every once in a while, somebody tells you something and you listen to it. And here's a bit of philosophy that I've put together. Rather than one person telling me this, this was a group of people, and different people throughout the years, and it kind of worked itself into this song, and it goes like this. Now, I was all drunk up in this bar the other night at closing time when I saw some old guy wave his hand at me. So I kind of staggered over. I said, do I know you, friend? And he said, no, but just come here and take a seat. And he said, son, I hate to meddle into other people's lives, but I can see that you're about three sheets to the wind. And if you don't kill yourself trying to make it home tonight, well, when you wake up tomorrow, you sure as hell gonna wish you dead. Cause you can't howl with the owls and then soar with the eagles. You can't burn the candle at both ends, uh-uh. Cause, son, you won't be knowing if you're coming or you're going. It's the owls or the eagles or the end. He said that road that you are traveling, well, that's a one-way street to hell. And I know cause I've been on it all my life. 
And it's gotten me in trouble and it's landed me in jail. And it's cost me all my money and three wives. Now every man has got to work and most men like to drink. And doing both is natural and fine. But you can't earn the bucks by day and then try to party every night. You know, son, you're gonna bust your body and your mind. Cause you can't howl with the owls and then soar with the eagles. You can't burn the candle at both ends, can't be done. Cause, son, you won't be knowing if you're coming or you're going. It's the owls or the eagles or the end. He said, listen up here, boy. You know I've hit so many phone poles driving home at night. Well, now they just send my paycheck to Ma Bell. And I've had so many cuts and bruises, lacerations and contusions. Blue Cross told me to go to hell. Now I can't go very far, cause they won't insure my car. And there ain't too many jobs that I can keep. And if I meet a woman, and I get to take her home, well, by the time we get it on, I fall asleep. Well, you can't howl with the owls and then soar with the eagles. You can't burn the candle at both ends. Cause, son, you won't be knowing if you're coming or you're going. It's the owls or the eagles or the end. So I just want to take this occasion to say it's moderation that's going to get you through this life, my friend. Well, now, son, it's up to you. You got to do what you got to do. And hey, bartender, set us up again. <laughs> you can't howl with the owls and then soar with the eagles. You can't burn the candle at both ends. Cause, son, you won't be knowing if you're coming or you're going. It's the owls or the eagles or the end. It's the owls or the eagles or the end. It's the owls or the eagles, that's the end. All right. <laughs> Woo. All right. <laughs> Thank you. When I was um, when I was a young boy, my heroes were cowboys. That's a song, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Willie Nelson just about. Anyway, and I always loved cowboys, and I had the hat and the guns and everything. And then when I was about 18 or 19 years old, I had the fortune to uh, travel a little bit around this country. And I finally got to the countryside that I had only seen in movies before. And when I saw the great western part of this country, I was overwhelmed with its beauty and its, and its vastness. And um, it got me to thinking what life must have been like at that time and how, how it's changed since. And I wrote this song called, I Rode With The Wind On My Shoulder. Drank away all of my pay. Robbed a bank in Missouri. It caused quite a fury. Caught a bullet and just got away. Had a woman in Denver, the best I remember. She drove me right out of my mind. She was warm, sweet as honey, and she took all my money. But I swear it was worth every dime And I rode with the wind on my shoulder I was free as the eagle in flight And I woke with the sun in the morning And I slept neath the stars Late at night Countries near Seattle and Montana ran cattle, stole horses on the Wyoming side. Pan for gold north of Frisco, I didn't get rich though. In Nevada, I worked in the mine. Then I'd go down to Reno, 
hit every casino, but I couldn't do nothing but lose. Then near Salt Lake City, this widow took pity, and that's when my luck did improve. And I rode with the wind on my shoulder. I was free as the eagle in flight. And I woke with the sun in the morning, and I slept near the stars late at night. Now I've been a rambler, an outlaw, and gambler. God knows I've lived hard and fast. And I've known many women, both scarlet and linen, but it all seems so far in the past. Cause the old days are gone now and we've all moved on now the ones who remember those days the frontier is tame and they fenced in the rain and i packed my six guns away and the cow towns have now become cities and the cowboys are all singing songs and there's nowhere to be wild and free and there's no place to feel i belong cause i rode with the wind on my shoulder i was free as the eagle in flight and i woke with the sun in the morning and I slept neath the stars late at night. Thank you. All right. Well, I crawled home the other night. I've been beat up in a fight. My nose was broke and my eyes were black and blue. You see, I tried to make some time with a girl that wasn't mine. But her boyfriend, he had a different point of view. Now, you might ask me why I would tangle with a guy who's six foot six and weighs 245. Well, I guess I should have run. But I was having too much fun. I'm just lucky I got out of there alive. But a man's got to do what a man's got to do. John Wayne always said it, so I guess it must be true. Till they lay me down to rest, I'll live the cold of the west. Because a man's got to do what a man's got to do. in this drunken stupor got pulled over by this trooper he said get out of that car boy let me see you walk this line well i said okay chief i will but the damn thing won't stay still <laughs> well to me it sounded funny at the time so he wrote me out this ticket and i told him where to stick it he said you know you're gonna lose your license now well, I said, I didn't mind. I go through this all the time. And besides, sucker, I haven't got one anyhow. <laughs> well, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. John Wayne always said it, so I guess it must be true. Till they lay me down to rest, I'll live the cold of the west. Because a man's got to do what a man's got to do. Now there isn't any vice that I ain't tried once or twice or any man that I would be afraid to fight. And there isn't any law that I haven't stretched before or any woman that I turned down for the night. Come on. <laughs> well, the other night my wife, she almost took my life. When she found out that I gambled our last dime. 
she said, give me a divorce. I said, yes, my dear, of course. So you see, I ain't a damn fool all the time. Yes, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. John Wayne always said it, so I guess it must be true. Till they lay me down to rest, I live the cold of the west. Cause a man's got to do what a man's got to do. There's a one more time, man. What a man's got to do, what a man's got to do. John Wayne always said it, so I guess it must be true. Till they lay me down to rest, I live the cold of the wet. Cause a man's got to do what a man's got to do. Aha! Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We'll be back in just a little bit with the MGB Express. Thank you. Let's have a warm hand for Lon Gary and Bill Garrett. We'll be back in a few minutes. Return it up. We're Lon Gary will be joined by the MGB Express. Stick with us. Coming soon on cable, your stereo and TV unite to bring you video music in the stereo 24 hours. You MTV Music Television. In stereo, you'll never look at music the same way again. Hello, everybody. I'm Debbie Bonick, and we're here at Windward Farms in Wall Township today with Lon Gary, who is the featured performer with the MGB Express on Turn It Up tonight. Lon, I'd like to ask you, I'd like to welcome you to the show. Thank you, Debbie. And I'd like to ask you about your early musical uh, background. Uh, well, I started, I started out in New York uh, when I was in high school and uh, started as a folk singer, hang around Greenwich Village and played folk music. And then uh, when I got out of high school and uh, decided I'd like to travel around a little bit, and I got out west, lived out in California, Nevada, and um, country music, uh, which I had never really heard before in New York City. We didn't have any country stations then. And um, I started listening to it, and I started hearing artists like Chris Christopherson and the like. And um, I felt that that was the direction that I'd like to move into. And uh, that's where my music started going. And um, over the last, I guess it's about 10 years now, that uh, I've been moving more and more into country. Now uh, I feel real comfortable with it. It's good. Now, it is country music you play, not to be confused with bluegrass music. And Lon just uh, brushed me up on the difference between bluegrass and country. Could you uh, give a little bit of the difference for the audience? Oh, sure. Now, when I work by myself, uh, I do country music. Now, country music is, oh, for want of a better explanation, it's music that's written and performed, uh, that tells stories, that deals with the lives of the people and uh, things like that but it's written it's it's contemporary music and uh, whereas bluegrass is what we also play when I work with the MGB Express bluegrass is um, is music that's uh, been created by by the people who live in the land it, it's not written as much as passed down from generation to generation so a lot of bluegrass we do so some of the songs could be a hundred two hundred years old uh, whereas country is written at the time and usually deals with problems of everyday life and the like you know how you doing? <laughs> anyway, and that's basically the difference between the two. Now, when I write, um, I write country music, basically. And what I do is I like story songs. I've always liked to tell stories. I always felt that I was a good storyteller. And uh, so when I write and perform certain things, what I like to do is perform those kind of tunes because I think that the audiences get most interested in that. They, they really hang on what you're doing. They're getting a little friendly back here. <laughs> Now, in your first set of music, you did all original material, and there were a lot of stories in it. One song I especially loved is a song called Saturday. That's it. And that's about your family. Could you tell us a little bit about, you know, the background of it and how you came up with that idea? Oh, sure. Well, we have four boys. Now, when I wrote the song, we had three at the time. But uh, I was sitting in the middle of uh, the living room one day, and I was kind of picking on the guitar, trying just working on some tunes. And the kids were all over me. They were climbing on me and yelling and screaming and the whole thing. And I said, well, if I don't get a song out of this, then I'm not worth my, 
I'm not worth my keep. So I sat down, and what I did basically, and and it's the truth, it's what happens on an average Saturday in my house, and it's. Uh, it's whatever the song says about, you know, having the kids watching cartoons and fighting with each other and wanting to go out to McDonald's for the afternoon and things like that. So, and I'm sure that, that almost everybody can identify with it because when I've done the song, people always say, oh my God, that's my house. You know, that's, that's my family. So, uh, uh, I, I know the song rings true and, and I like songs that people can identify with, you know, that they can really understand what I'm talking about when we're doing them. Now, you've traveled all over the country, and uh, you've seen California, and you told me you played in Las Vegas, and you were also in New York, and you chose to settle in uh, this particular area. Why? Well, I, I've always, uh, well, I, first of all, I was born here in the East, and uh, I like the East Coast. You know, I went out to California, and everybody always talks about it like it's the promised land, but I, I liked it. It was no, no problem with it, but uh, I guess you kind of wind up settling where your roots are and I was I lived in New York City for a long time but the city became too much of a hassle you know too too dirty and too congested and the like and we were looking for a place that wasn't too far away but uh, that had a country feeling to it especially raising four children and um, I started working down in the shore area and it's worked out very well for me and this is where we uh, make our home now. Alon has been uh, the exclusive house singer at Four Winds for seven years now, right? Yes, right? And about six months ago, he got together with a band, which you'll see in the second set of tonight's show, called MGB Express. Can you tell us a little bit about these gentlemen? Oh, sure. Well, uh, you'll notice in the first set, the fellow who's playing backup guitar and doing harmonies for me is a fellow named Billy Garrett. And Billy and I became very good friends, and uh, his high harmonies blended so well with the stuff that I did, plus his extra guitar. And we started working together. And uh, then Billy, in turn, introduced me to Bobby Mitchell. Now, Bobby is our, is, is our uh, musician extraordinaire. He plays just about anything he can get his hands on. Uh, guitar, mandolin, fiddle, as you'll see. And um, we started jamming together, and Bobby, in turn, introduced me to Charlie, who's our bass player. And uh, without really ever thinking about it, all of a sudden, one day, we turned around and said, hey, we got us a band. <laughs> And we started playing, and uh, the four winds, Tommy Morris, uh, was nice enough to give us a, uh, an opportunity to play together at the, uh, at the four winds. And so we're there Friday and Saturday nights, and I work at the four winds by myself Wednesday and Thursday nights, and I work a couple of other places in, uh, in the shore area down in the Ocean County area. So uh, it's, it's worked out real well. We're, we're having a good time with the music, and the audiences, as you'll be able to hear on the, uh, on the show, seem to really enjoy it, too. So we've, we've, we've had a good time with it. One last question. Uh, do you get a charge from the audience? Do they get you going? If you feel as though you have a good audience, good response, uh, you know, does that make the performance a little bit easier, or do you try harder? Well, when the audience is with you, it's, uh, it's like coming up to a high you know the adrenaline starts pumping and and they're having a good time and you feed off them and you're having a good time and those nights when when that crowd is really enjoying themselves it's it's fabulous they, they, there's no better show business experience than that when when they're with you all the time nights when when you have an audience that maybe isn't with you as much you work harder to get them and you wind up getting them but it's a little tougher road but uh, but you certainly do your your performance will more or less mirror what you're getting back from the audience okay Lon thank you very much for this uh, time with us thank and you, um, I'd like to uh, tell the audience to sit back and enjoy the second half of this show because you're in for a good bunch of uh, foot stomping, hand clapping music from Lon in the MGB Express. <laughs> 